here's a review on the um, Weber Baby Q1200. It's got the taller lid, the temperature gauge. I find the temperature gauge works quite well. We've been using this for four weeks now. Um, it's just outside our kitchen there and it gets used at least three or four times a week since we've had it. We've bought the trolley with it and the trolley normally got a little bracket here for the um, gas bottle as well as the handle and um, I couldn't see the need for them and I've taken them off I've just got the gas bottle sitting on the ground which seems to work fine and I think it looks a lot neater and has less clutter and I've given this a good clean today just for this video now the main accessory I've put on there is these um, side tables which I think are absolutely brilliant um, some people complain that they're not strong enough but I mean you don't put 10 kilo weights on them and they come in quite handy when using the barbecue these barbecues are really easy to light open up the gas bottle turn it on and press the button and you're done the grates are enamel coated they clean up quite easily I generally just pull them out and put them in the dishwasher you can also buy a half plate, solid plate for it which I'm considering or you can get a breakfast plate to cook your bacon and eggs on on a Sunday morning and the reason I haven't bought any of those yet is because I'm not sure which way to go at this stage once you've lit the barbecue before you use close the lid and let it preheat quite a compact little unit um, I think it's pretty good value for money considering the amount of views I'll get out of it it's quite a small barbecue however um, we cook for four people on it on almost a daily basis and it seems to do that without any problems I've had whole chickens in there large roasts and we'll be doing a roast tonight so I'll um, might add that on to the end of this video overall these things are a great unit I haven't had any major problems with it or actually I haven't had any problems with it I love using it and um, I would definitely buy it again and I highly recommend um, anyone interested in these barbecues to consider one of these I'll probably give it a 10 out of 10 the only problem I can see is if you wipe it down due to the rough surface you get little bits of um, fluff that stick to the inside of the lid but I don't see that as a problem with the lid closed the temperature comes up quite quickly and this has only been on for uh, probably two or three minutes and it's already heating up above 200 degrees so if you're going to do a roast um, you're just about ready to put it in there if you're doing pork with crackling I like getting the temperature up closer to um, 270 when I put the roast in there the only other accessory I use quite regularly is one of these roasting grates you buy from your local Weber specialist dealer and you just put your roast or whole chicken or whatever you like on there and it allows the air to circulate around it and cooks it nice and evenly we'll um, have a look at that tonight once our roast goes on there just waiting for the barbecue to come up to temperature the meat's ready to go it's a big chunk of beef and we kept it simple it's salt, pepper 
and American style mustard. As you can see, it's probably a kilo and a half of meat there. The side table's got no problems at all holding that. We've placed the meat on the barbecue now. Temperature was about 220 um, when we've lifted the lid. Filming this, it's probably dropped down a bit. But we can't help that. We'll close the lid. And let it grill away. The meat's been grilling away. We've got about 220 degrees. It's set on half power. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Looks like dinner's nearly ready.